Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Nip Hill coming at you with another Madden video today. Welcome back to another episode to Road to 100% Season Score. This is episode 3. As you guys can see from our Season Score bar, we are at 60%. So that means if the season ends today, we will get the 3-star bundle. But as the title says, we're going to go and aim for that 100% Season Score for the 5-star bundle. And we already know what the rewards are in that, and that's 2 Elite Players and 10 Pro Packs. They haven't released the rewards for the 4, 3, 2, 1 star bundles just yet, but hopefully later on in the future they will tell us as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what I improved and what I can tell you guys. So I didn't do that much to the overall, I guess. From last episode, my offense was a 91 and my defense was a 90. Uh, my level is only t uh, level 12 and I haven't done any seasons and um, for my sets, I was at 33 and achievements I was at 34 so the achievements I went ahead and tried to knock some of those out um, as you guys can see I've done two seasons from the last episode I leveled up a little bit and my um, my overall I guess got a little better but I didn't do too many sets and the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and try to do is do all the sets because right now I'm at 15% of the 25% I can get from the sets tab I guess you want to call it and I've only done 38 sets so there's still um, I'll say well, minus the fives and the eights so we'll say we still have 40 sets to do so i still have a little bit to go but that's probably the easiest one next because um i feel like overall i'm probably going to be done with my overall because if you guys look at it each one of these so it's overall like i said the overall in total is 25 percent, but each one is broken up too so offense is 10 percent, as you guys can see there defense is 10 percent as well and then special teams is five percent so special teams we are max five out of five percent there and offense and defense since we're 95 out of the 99 um for offense we're only two percent away so we're eight out of the 10 and same thing for defense of course so i think i'm going to be satisfied with my offense and defense now because it's only four percent in total if i brought them both to 99 percent and money wise or coin wise i don't feel like that's going to be worth it uh unless i really really need it like if i do everything i think i need to do to get the 100 percent, and i'm still like two percent short then of course i'm going to go ahead and upgrade it but if you're like 95 percent, 96 percent um you're pretty well set for overall max out your special teams that's not that hard just do the positional hero one and then knock out some seasons and sets and your level and achievements so really nice guys i'm going to show you guys what i did to kind of boost my level and do some seasons of course and yeah so I believe the last episode I post that on June 27th. So that was, let's see, 10 days ago. So I've got 60, or I went from 43 to 60% in 10 days. And I don't really play on my iPad mini that much. So that's not that bad of a progress. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I kind of do. So let's go to the overall first or the team to show you what I've done to make it better. So what I did was went ahead and picked up a lot. Like I said, NFL draft players are your best bet. Um, of course, for the mo um, quarterback, I went ahead and just picked up Mike Vick because I really love playing with this Mike Vick. And he's a 99 overall, and he only goes for like 300K. So he's pretty cheap, guys, for a 99 overall quarterback. A lot of 99 overall quarterbacks are cheap just because there's abundance of them. But yeah, I'm telling you guys, the draft players are a key thing you want to go ahead and pick up because... As you guys can see from this guy right here, um, he's a 94 overall, and he gives that stat boost to the whole team. So it says to all, as you guys can see there, plus one speed to everybody. So that is a main boost to your team. And defense is where it really helps out a lot. Because I went ahead and picked up the cornerbacks that gave me plus one awareness. I picked up the players that try to give me plus one awareness. As you guys can see there, the two cornerbacks, um, my middle linebackers, both give me plus one awareness. And supposedly acceleration is a big key factor as well. So I went ahead and picked up them as well. And some of them are like 96. They're 94 to 96 overall um, for the rookie, um, rookie players, draft players, I should say. Because they're not rookies yet. Because uh, they're not playing yet. But yeah. Another big thing, whoops, why did I go up? Another big thing I did, as you guys can see, I do have uh, Deshaun Jackson's flashback player card there. Also have Zach Martin's uh, rising star player and a veteran's. The veteran one, Joe Thomas, was kind of, I got him. And then after I thought about him, I'm like, yo, the rising stars are really good because they give 3% EXP. Like I said, levels is a big part of your season score. 
So as you guys see, I'm only level 18. I've only have nine out of the 25%. So I want to go ahead and level up as much as I can. And it says I get 1% every two levels gain. So at level 20, I'll be at 10%. So that's going to be nice. Excuse me. Sorry about that. That's going to be nice when I level up. So that's what I did. I went ahead and looked for those players that give me the pl um, plus percent EXP. That's uh, flashback players. Um veteran players of course rising stars as you guys can see there and also i believe signature cards give a plus one percent coin and one percent exp but the rising stars are beautiful because they give plus three percent exp and that's huge but you don't want to just stack up on all these guys because as you guys can see right here um for the exp the max percent you can get up to is five percent so basically deshaun jackson and zach martin there those two add up to five percent so basically joe thomas's extra one percent is just tossed to the side it doesn't actually give me six percent exp on top of whatever give whatever i get so really you don't have to stack up on too many of these players and that's what's going to help a lot exp because that's what help you with your levels and these guys have really nice overalls as well the flashback players have beautiful overalls i should say rising stars are not as great i believe zach is actually an 88 overall but because of all the awareness and everything on my team boost is up to a 90 overall deshaun jackson's a 96 but with all the boosts as well he's a 98 but yeah flashback players are really nice because they give that plus one uh they give that percentage and they also give a stat boost as well as you can see jackson also gives plus one catch to the whole team as well but yeah some really nice things if you guys <clears throat> wondering like how i get all these coins if you right now i feel like the best thing you guys can do is open pro packs i don't really it is a risk because you do have to do the large quick sale but it's really really hard to not at least break even because right now, I feel like the large quick sell is so juiced up right now. If you guys went ahead and saw my large quick sell video, go ahead and check that out if you haven't. But you guys will see how much money I've got in the past two days in that in the time span when I made that video. Um, it was nuts. So, And the large quick sell is still pretty juiced up. I got another million coins yesterday and I was just shocked. So yeah, I feel like that's really juiced. So what you guys want to do, people were asking me how you get trophies. So I'm going to tell you guys here. Sorry if this video is going to be long. I'm just trying to tell everybody. Um, what you want to do is go ahead and open up Pro Packs. So once you open up Pro Packs, what is so good about it? It gives you one gold player, two bronze, and two silvers. What you do then, you take your bronze and silvers. So we'll start off with bronze. You put your bronze into this player exchange. Put five bronze, as you guys can see, I'll do right now. So we went ahead and did that. We get one silver item. And you do that until all your bronze players are all gone. So I would be sitting here for quite a while doing that next you want to go to silvers to gold so you go ahead and put your silvers and you go ahead and claim it and you go ahead and get your gold player this one's really nice because if you guys get like a red bryant rolled to the playoff that goes for about 90k as in store as well so that would give you a nice pretty penny so you want to go ahead and do that as well until you finished with all your silver players i guess you want to call it once you do that you take your gold players the ones you have and you go up to the player trade-in set and you don't do the bronze trade-in you don't do the silver one that's just waste of your players because you can go ahead and change those into golds but you do go ahead and do the gold player trade-in set so you go ahead into here and i don't have that many goals because i've been doing this but you go ahead and just put your gold players you need 10 gold players put it in go ahead and claim it and that's like the easiest way to go ahead and get trophies once you get your trophies you can go ahead either you go ahead and sell them on the market or you can even put it into large quick so i go ahead and put in large quick so i feel like it's really more fast and it's i guess easier i guess um i don't have enough sorry for that but i don't have enough for that <clears throat> But yeah, really great way. That's like a really great way to get some coins. Um, but yeah, and then another really good thing that you guys can do. I told you guys every single episode this as well. You want to go ahead and play each event at least once for the first time. And the specialty ones like this final edition ones pay out amazingly. When I went ahead and did this, so it does cost a hefty amount of stamina. Seven, but for the first time, it gives me 60 EXP plus additional 50 EXP. And then... On top of that, 110, I believe, EXP also get another 5% because of all the stat boosts. So you go ahead and play every single event at least once a day. So I went ahead and did this Pound the Rock and Daily Warm Up. And you see this Road to the Riches. So the really nice ones are the Road to the Riches and this Triangle Daily. 
I, I guess warm up. I guess they called warm up or pound the rock. Whatever, the one with the pylon. Why these are so nice? Because they have an expiry time. So as you guys can see, the road to the riches here, um, I'll, every time I finish it for at least the first time, I get an additional 50 plus EXP. Then I get my player 5% and then I also get the 25 original. But what's so nice is these things reset every three to four hours, I guess. So if you do it every time, you're getting at least a good amount of EXP every single time because these sets reset or these events reset and you can get the first win every time. It's not like this one, the final edition, where it's here till tomorrow. Those ones always keep refreshing, so you can always get an abundance of EXP there. Um, so that's another good one. And another really nice one that I found out or I confirmed uh, for you guys is I went ahead and forfeited all the games for my seasons and I'm on season three right now um, As you guys can see from well, not sets. Oh, yeah, we'll show you on sets, but uh, For right here. I only have one Super Bowl, but I've done two seasons So that means I went ahead and forfeited one season at least and it counted as you guys can see in my season score so if you guys forfeit your games that does count for your season score so that is a really great way to go ahead and try to quicken up uh seasons because every game is about it has a, a minute and 30 seconds each quarter then with all the timeout stoppage and everything it can take about like five minutes to ten minutes a game depending how you want to play it um so if you go ahead and forfeit it over and over and over again it's gonna be really quick the only thing you gotta worry about is your stamina so my advice to you guys what you guys should do if you guys are going to sleep you have some stamina go ahead and forfeit all the games you can so when you go ahead and wake up in the morning you have a full bar of stamina you can go ahead and forfeit as much games as you want then you go back on at lunch time you have a full set of stamina go ahead and forfeit again it's just a repeated cycle and, and another great way to do that is what i find when i go ahead and are very close to leveling up like let's say i was at 620 exp out of the 626 I would go ahead and play as much events as possible. So I go ahead and play the final edition one, play the pound the rock, play the David warm up and play seasons, but I would not complete it. I would go ahead and go in. So I'll show you guys with this event right here. I'll go in and what I'll do, I'll press pause and save and quit. So I, I use my energy or my stamina. It says resume, but I didn't get any exp for it. So when I do level up, I have all these extras. When I do level up, I can use all that extra EXP to help me for the next level. So that's some tips I want to share with you guys. Um, but yeah, we are at 60%. There is going to be two more episodes of Road to 100%, I guess, because we do it every uh, bar tier. But yeah, that is episode three, guys. Leave a comment below for some tips or if you guys enjoy the tips and give me your feedback of what you guys think but yeah i want to thank you guys for watching you guys know to tune into for everything madden mobile and that's right here on my channel I want to thank you guys for watching please hit that subscribe button leave a like on this video and i'll catch you guys soon peace What's up?